So as you all know, Valentine's Day is coming up and I decided to do a really simple but yet romantic and elegant um, makeup look. This look is going to focus on highlighting the best features of your cheeks while adding a little color to the lips and keeping a really simple, soft, smoky eye. So if you want to see how I did this look, then keep watching. So I'm starting off this look by using my new uh, Revlon Nearly Naked foundation in the color Ivory 110. It looks like that. So about that should be enough. Then I'm taking my flat um, foundation brush um, by Sephora and I'm just going to use that to wipe this all over my face. I usually like to start off on my chin and then just work around my face, but there's really no right or wrong way to do this. I would say this is a light coverage foundation. Um, I think it is buildable, but it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't weigh your skin down and once it's finished setting, it feels like absolutely nothing is on your skin. I did a review of this foundation on my blog, so I will link that down in the description box. And if you want to go check that out, um, I'll go more into detail about how I like this foundation. Next, I'm taking my Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Concealer, and I'm just going to conceal under my eyes a little bit. And I'm just going to use my ring finger to dab that under my eye. Now, I was watching um, Miss Glamorazzi's channel. I'll link her channel down in the description box, too. Um, she's really great, and she has a lot more subscribers than I do. But I was watching one of her videos, and she was saying that using the ring finger is best to go under the eyes because it's the most delicate. And sometimes when you use your pointer finger, you can rub too hard under your eyes, and that's not good because it's a really sensitive area, and you want to be really gentle. Alright, so now that my foundation's on, I'm going to set that with my Revlon Stay Matte Powder. And I have the color 04 Sandstorm. And I'm just using my Bare Minerals Foundation Brush to apply this. I'm just swirling it. Now for my eyes, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to start off using the color Booty Call. It's that one right there. And I'm just taking my Bare Essentials Quick Color and Crease Brush, and I'm using this end to start off with. And I'm going to sweep that all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take the color Tease, which is this color right here. Right here. And I'm going to take that on the outer corner of my eye. And a little bit through the crease. And I'm just taking the flat side of my eyeshadow brush to do this. Now I'm just going to take the fluffy side and blend that out. And I'm going to take a Bare Minerals Heavenly Liner Blending Brush and I'm going to take T's under my eye. I'm then going to take my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner Pen in the color Blackest Black and I'm just going to line my top lash line. Now for this look, I'm not going to go for a really full-on thick line. I am going to try to um, make it a little thicker towards the outer corner, but I want to keep it really delicate and simple looking. I'm going 
to curl my eyelashes with my Bare Minerals Lash Curlers. I'm then using my Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume Mascara in the color Blackest Black. I really like this mascara because it gives you volume, but it also doesn't clump your lashes, and I think that has to do a lot with the, um, the wand. Alright, so that's the eyes done. Now I'm going to move on to the cheeks, which is the part that I really want to focus on in this makeup tutorial because I know that most people like to focus on their lips for Valentine's Day, but what I've found, at least with my boyfriend, is that if I'm wearing red lipstick or a really, really uh, densely pigmented um, lip gloss, he typically doesn't always like to get that all over his face when I kiss him. and. So for Valentine's Day, I figured since we're all probably going to be doing a lot of kissing of our significant others, I figured I would just keep the lips a little colored but fairly natural so that we make the boys happy. Right, so I'm moving on to cheeks and I'm going to start off with using my Rimmel London's uh, Natural Bronzer in the color 027 Sundance. I'm using a really small brush to do this because I want um, a really precise contouring for this look. You can use a bigger brush if you don't want it as contoured, but I want my cheeks really contoured. So I'm just gonna swirl this around. And then I am gonna rub some off onto the back of my hand so it's not as harsh of a line, but then you're gonna suck in your cheeks like that. And you want to find where your cheekbone meets the hollow of your cheek so I'm gonna suck in and like right here is where you want to contour and this just helps slim down your face so if you feel like you've added too much you can always just go back with your foundation brush and smooth out where you feel like you've gone too far. So next I'm going to move on to blush and I'm using my Bobbi Brown palette and I'm going to use it using the color um, Plum 5 which is this color right here and I just have a Bare Minerals fluffy brush and I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. Alright, and lastly, to finish off the cheeks, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown palette again, but I'm going to be using the color right here, which is called Snow 1. And I'm just going to take my middle finger and I'm going to take about that much. It looks like a lot, and it is, but I'm going to just dab that on the tops of my cheekbones. And this is just going to add a really nice, very frosty highlight but since I'm going to be focusing on the cheeks for this makeup tutorial, I figured this would be the perfect highlighter. And I'm even going to take some of that under my eyebrow just to highlight my brow bones. And actually I might even take that into the corners of my eyes just to add a little highlight in there. So to finish off the look, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Color Sensation Lip Stain in the color Wink of Pink. This is really old, so I don't know if it's still in stores or if you can still find it, but there are tons of alternatives to this color. Um, this is like a strawberry pink color. I'm just going to run that all over my lips. And 
And what I really love about lip stains is they actually make your look, lips look that color. So it doesn't look like you're wearing um, a lip gloss or a lipstick or anything. It just makes your lips look like they're naturally that color. And also they don't rub off like a lot of lipsticks and lip glosses do. So they tend to last for a really long time, which I love. So lastly, to finish off the lips, I'm using my Tarte lip gloss in the color Blissful. And it looks like this. I love the packaging of this. I really want more of these. And I just absolutely love the color too. It's like a corally pink, but it goes on really sheer and just adds a little tint of color to your lips. Alright, so that is the finished makeup look, you guys. I hope you can use this for Valentine's Day. It's a really simple look, but I think that's kind of sweet, especially on Valentine's Day when you want to be elegant and romantic. So leave me a comment down in the comment section letting me know if you enjoyed this. Or just leave a comment letting me know if this look helped you on your Valentine's Day or if you used it for any other occasion. So see you guys next time. Bye! I never, ever, 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 ever,